I'm Marius Black and this is my fifth solo show. Uh, it's called Manila Synesthesia. So synesthesia means um, it's a neurological condition. It means that instead of stimulating just one of the senses, it stimulates several of the senses. So for example, I say the number three, you automatically uh, see the color green or blue. It, it stimulates two senses. And another example is um, when a mu music is played, you think about um, food or other colors that is similar to what you're hearing. When you see my paintings, um, it's my perspective. I really saw these things, I really saw the person, most of them, and then take pictures of them. So what, what I focus on, it's something talking to people that are still living their lives even though they're uh, going through hardships they're being resilient so for me portraying people who are resilient still uh, peddling their wares or still living in a house even in a bicycle for me that uh, exudes resilience and even creativity so that's what i focus on and that's what i paint and for me, I'm, I'm, I'm like them. I, I see myself in them, but I just make art, and and I think that's that's what I really uh, want to say with my words. I really want to um, let them examine my artworks, and uh, I'm able to actually portray the things that most people neglect or or don't notice. So it depends on what people actually want to experience or feel about my painting. I was able to develop my um, career by just uh, taking a lot of time in, in knowing what I really want to do. Um, my advice for um, younger artists is to at least try a lot of things. That's what I did. And then eventually you're able to zone in or focus on the one thing or at least things that you actually want to um, really do. Like for me, it's painting, painting people, and then painting um, with my style or my medium, and then also writing poetry with the artwork. So uh, other people can write as well, but not with the artworks that they do. As artists, we can tackle any problem or um, survive any issue or any crisis by just using our creativity, our God-given creativity to create something or solve something with our talents, with our, with our artworks. Or not even artworks, but just by using um, what we have today to be able to survive. So I think it's better to just create, even double, even triple your output. That's what I did and I think it's working out just fine. Now we all right now have a lot more time because we're all at home and you can't say that you don't have materials because you're an artist you and just have a pencil or paper or drawing anything you have, even newspaper. So I think that's one key thing that we should do is just to create and don't make any excuses. And um, Spread your art. So what Ultramondo is doing is they're exhibiting my artworks in a 3D gallery as well, also online. So that's that's one thing that people or the art world can um, do so it would survive. And another thing I think is, uh, for example, having these kinds of interviews to be able to know the artist better so that people can relate with the art and the artist because in a gallery setting when you go to an exhibit opening you can you can talk to the artist right? so it, when you talk to them you get to know the person you get to know what the meaning or the story of the artist are and people would engage and connect with the artist and the artist